All right, guys. One last thing, and this isn't really a type of factoring, but this is a tool that helps us, okay? It's called substitution. And substitution, you're replacing something with something else to make something look more factorable. So let's look at this one first. Um, we would try GCF, there's not one. It's a trinomial. We look at the types that we can factor trinomials with. There's two of them. There's magic numbers, and then there's AC method. And because this number is a six and not a one, we're gonna use AC method. Uh-oh, the only problem is it's not quadratic. It's to the fourth power, not, it's not x squared. So we can't use that method. But we got a little trick around it if we use substitution. So really what we're going to do is we're gonna say that x squared equals u, well, not u personally, but x squared equals u, the variable. And then if we do that, then I could say x to the fourth equals u squared. Doesn't that make sense? So we're temporarily gonna substitute x squared with u and x to the fourth with u squared. I don't know why they always use u for substitution. It's like, why did they use m for slope? I don't know. I don't make the rules, I just work here. So if I rewrite it by substituting x to the fourth with u squared, I would have six u squared minus 13 u minus five. Now it's quadratic. Now we can use AC method. So AC equals negative 30, B equals negative 13, okay? Now we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 30 and add to negative 13, and that would be negative 15 and two. And then after we find those numbers, you remember you put them over A, A is six, over six, over six, and then we simplify each fraction. I'm gonna write up here. So negative five, 15 over six simplifies to negative five over two. And then two over six simplifies to one over three. And remember, we bring the denominators to the front. So what I'll have is two u minus five, two u, like the bend, and then three u plus one. And that's factored. But the only problem is, is we need it factored in terms of x, not in terms of u. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute back. I'm gonna replace the u with the x squared. So I have two x squared minus five, and then I'm gonna replace that u. I'm gonna call that three x squared plus one. And there we have it. Now we always wanna make sure everything's completely factored. So we look at this binomial and we see no GCF. We see that there's not, you know, we can only use for binomials GCF, difference of squares, sum of cubes, and difference of cubes, those four methods. And none of, this is two is not a perfect square. Five is not a perfect square. And they're definitely not perfect cubes, so we can't do it. And you'll find the same thing here. There's no way to factor this. So it's completely factored and we're done. This one here, this one's, oof, this one's gonna be a, a little bit of a challenge. Um, but look at this as a binomial and think of our binomial types of factoring. GCF, nope. S difference of squares, nope. Sum of cubes, hmm. It is plus, eight's a perfect cube. And look, this is being cubed, so if you take the cube root of it, it's 2a minus 1. So this is a perfect cube, but it would get messy if you try to plug all of that into your formula. So we use substitution to try to help, okay? So substitution is like a tool to help us do one of the other types of factoring. So what I'm going to say is u equals 2a minus 1. So now I have u cubed plus 8. Um, when I substitute, and now it's a much simpler sum of cubes to factor. Um, so what we would do is uh, we gotta find the cube root of each of these terms, and then we're gonna use this, the sum of cubes formula. So my x, if you will, is u, because remember this, the sum of cubes formula is in terms of x and y, um, and now I can replace every x with u, and it'll be factored. And then the cube root of eight is two, so my y, if you will, is two. So now we're gonna use that formula to write the factored form of that. And if we do that, it would be uh, u plus two, right? And then in parentheses, I would have uh, u squared, and then plus, I'm sorry, minus uh, for the sum of cubes, so it's plus here and it's minus there. And uh, I'm gonna multiply these two together, so u times two, but most people would say two u. And then lastly, 
plus 4. All right? And now it's factored, but now we need it in terms of A, because that's what we started with. We can't leave it in terms of U. So I'm going to go ahead and plug back in the 2A minus 1 in for the U, and I have 2A minus 1 plus 2, and then I have 2A minus 1, but this is tricky. We're going to square that. And then I have minus 2 times 2a minus 1 plus 4. All right, now, now it's just a matter of simplifying. And we simplified in R3. Remember the quiz R3? Um, so I have negative 1 plus 2. So I get 2a plus 1 by combining the negative 1 and the 2. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do everything in here. i gotta, I got to square that first. Order of operations, exponents first. So if I square 2a minus 1, uh, let's see, I would do 2a times 2a, which is 4a squared, 2a times negative 1, minus 2a, and then negative 1 times 2a, minus 2a, and then negative 1 times negative 1, plus 1, okay? Now I still need to distribute the negative 2 here. Oh, I hope I don't run out of room here. So negative 2 times 2a, is minus 4a. Oh good, we're still good. And then uh, negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2 plus 4. Ah, oh, I barely fit in the window. All right, now we're almost done. The hard part's over. We just got to combine like terms now. So I have 2a plus 1 here, and then 4a squared, and I have negative 2a minus 2a, which is negative 4a, Negative 4a minus 4 more a, so I'm going to cancel those out, so you know, we'll make sure we count for everything, is negative 8a, all right? That takes all of my, care of all my a squareds and all my a's, and I just have 1 plus 2 plus 4, 3 plus 4 is 7, okay? And you always try to factor all the way down. Uh, really, you should try to, so this can't be factored down anymore. Um, there's no GCF or anything. And this, you look at the trinomial, you really should try to do the AC method to see if that factors down any further because it's, it's quadratic. Leading coefficient is not one. But I know for a fact it doesn't factor further, so I'm not going to put you through that. Um, and this would be the final answer right here. Um, substitution can be pretty neat, pretty fun. All right, now we got some practicing to do. That wraps up R4. And... I look forward to the next one.